Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Before we get started today, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. We have some giveaways coming up in the future that we wouldn't want you to miss out on. There will also be a coupon code at the end of this video, so be sure to check that out. In the past, we've made a Viking-themed pear cord and leather bracelet. So today we are going to be making a pirate-themed bracelet with a lot of the same materials. Um, so let's dive right into that. For this project, you will need a couple feet of burgundy-colored pear cord, five yards of 1.5 millimeter black leather cord, a couple of wooden beads, some antique bronze skull beads, and one of our new anchor clasps. And don't forget a scissors and a lighter. First, we're gonna need the paracord. You can put all this stuff aside for now. You also need your anchor hook. Start by putting the end of your cord down through the top, over, and then up through the bottom, and then tuck that underneath your loop. This is called a cow hitch, just made a little bit differently because we have a divider through the middle of our holes. So once you have your cow hitch made, we want to add a wooden bead right after that hitch. So go ahead and thread it onto both ends of your paracord and nest it right up against there. And then on the other end, go ahead and make a elbow like this and put a wooden bead on there as well. Now we want to test how big our bracelet is. We want it to be the right size to fit on our wrists or whoever you're making it for. So take that loop and hook it around your anchor clasp. And then just cinch your extra cord down. You're gonna to want to leave a loop about that big to fit over your clasp to get it on and off. So now that I've got the bracelet the length I want, I'm going to tie a double overhand knot with each of the ends. So I'll do the short end first. And that's just done by bend your cord over itself, then loop it around twice, and then poke your end. I'm gonna put a fresh end on this. Poke your end back underneath those loops. And then tighten it down right up against that wooden bead. And then we're gonna do the same thing with our other cord. So loop it around itself once, twice, and then through all three of those loops. You want that one to nest right up against your other knot. Once you get tightened down, you may have to adjust it a little bit so that it sits right up against your other one. So then it'll look like that in the end. And go ahead and cut that end off too. All right, now that we've got our bracelet all set up, we can begin to do the actual weaving. So now grab your leather cord and find one end. What I'm going to do is a single strand fishtail weave. You can do a two strand as well. That would work just as well, but um, just to keep things straight, I'm gonna do it with a one strand. So I'm actually gonna tuck the end of my cord up through the bead and tie a little knot at the end. Just a simple overhand. Then you should be able to pull that down inside of the bead. All right, so now if you know the fishtail already, you'll know what we're about to do. But to do a fishtail, we're simply going to go up through the middle and over to the other side, and then pull all your excess cord through. So we've got a lot right now, so I'm actually just gonna pull the whole pile through. And then around that one, and again up through the middle. And that's gonna be our whole weave going down the bracelet. We're gonna add those skull beads that you saw at the beginning. So do this for a little while, and then we're gonna add a skull bead. All right, so I've got about four rows here of the, the fishtail braid. What you have to keep in mind while doing this braid is that you need to hold your cord tight. If I let this go, it's gonna become loose, and it's gonna take a bit of time to tighten again. Um, but now we're gonna add a, our first skull bead. So what I'm gonna do is wrap it all the way around the back 
So instead of going up through the middle this time, I just wrapped it all the way around the back. And now grab your first bead, and we're gonna thread the cord through, starting at the end. These beads here have a hole on the top and another one right behind the teeth in the skull. So we're gonna th thread it through that top hole first. And just thread it all the way up. So that your skull sits right along the, the weave. And then I'm gonna bring it around the back and resume our fishtail weave. You can flip it up to keep it out of the way for now. And just keep on stitching your fishtail for a couple more weaves. And remember to push your weave up against itself so that you don't see too much paracord poking through. All right, so now I've got about four more weaves underneath our skull. You can count the stripes on the side. And we're, now we're, I'm gonna bring it behind the back once again, like we did at the beginning. And now we're gonna thread it up and through that second hole in the bead. And now when you pull it through this bottom hole, you just wanna be careful that it doesn't scuff up your leather cord too much. It's kind of a tight fit. So just go slow. All right, now that we got our cord all threaded through, we're just gonna continue that weave again. I'm going to do about three skull beads spaced evenly down the length of the bracelet, um, but you can do however many you want. All right, so now I've got, let's see, I can count the stripes here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine stripes. So that's, I think, what it's gonna take in between each of my beads, but whatever your count is is fine. Yeah. All right, so now that we got our second bead on there, we're just gonna continue that same pattern until we reach the end. All right, so we made it to the end. At the end, it got a little bit tricky to poke our leather cord through. And so I had some forceps ready to use, but I ended up not needing them because the leather was stiff enough. Um, so to finish it off, we're just going to wrap it around. I'm gonna go this way. Wrap it around once, and then basically just tying a knot. So I'm gonna stick it through the loop. Pinch that down part way, and I think I'm just going to go one more time around that loop. And that shouldn't go any place. And with that, we should just be able to cut off the end of our leather. And there we have it. Our pirate bracelet. And so to clasp that, you just Stick the, the anchor through the loop and you're good to go. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button below and also subscribe if you want to see more cool videos like this in the future. Links to all these supplies can be found in the, the description to this video. We've put together kind of a shopping list for you. So you can just click on that and it'll bring you to our website with all the, the supplies you need. So before you check out, be sure to read in our description where we have a special code for you that's going to give you a one-time discount in our store. That code is YouTube. So I hope you liked this video and we will see you next time.